Oh, it's action? Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's just me today, sorry guys. I wanted to show you guys what I eat in a day. So first thing in the morning, we don't really like to eat heavy because we like to go to the gym first thing in the morning. But we read up on this celery juice situation. So we've been doing some celery juice. So basically what we'll do is we'll just blend celery and then add a little bit of water, drink that. We wait like 15 minutes or like 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, just depends how our digestive tract is working. And then we will have a ginger shot with lemon. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. I got my blender. So I put all of these in and then I add some cold water because usually this gets not cold. <laughs> like that much water. I don't know how, like measurement wise how much that is, but yeah, I'll go like right there. It doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna front. But you feel so good and it also curbs your appetite a bit so you can get through your workout without having a full meal and then you can eat after your workout. So I blend this up, cover your ears. <laughs> yeah. And then we drink up. Okay, it's not morning right now, so I, I'm gonna take a break with this um, this thing and show you guys how I do the ginger shot. All right, so next I take some ginger, about like this much ginger. I don't peel it or anything. I know it's kind of nasty. And then I just put it in, and then I take a lemon. Ooh, did I squirt you? No, no. okay. <laughs> and I'm just gonna squeeze this side in. Oh, and it went everywhere. And I usually use just half of a lemon, and then I still have to put like a little bit of water. I mean, there's gotta be another way, but I don't know it. So I just put more water, <laughs> probably about that much. Sometimes this works correctly, sometimes I need to Readjust. <laughs> so what I've noticed about ginger is it really helps your digestive tract. And me and Jason both have issues with using the restroom regularly. So it's just really helped with the lemon, the vitamin C, it all boosts your immune system, which we all need right now. There's other benefits. The other benefits are <laughs> that. My ginger shots are a little more thick than the ones you get, you know, from the store. And then I just put it in literally a shot glass. <laughs> Yummy! And that's my ginger shot. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, that or vodka, honestly. <laughs> it's so funny because this might be TMI, but I'm just gonna say it. Um, Jason takes a long time to use the bathroom. I like doing this because then he uses the restroom before we go to the gym. Because if he does it while we're at the gym, then it's like I have to wait on him an extra 30 minutes when I already got 30 minutes of a workout in. I'll show you what we do for breakfast. Brunch. For breakfast time, what I personally love to do is avocado toast with egg. Jason actually loves this too, but he's not a big fan of bread. He uh, likes to watch his carbs. He loves avocado and egg though, so I'll usually just make him like eggs with a bunch of veggies and then um, a side of avocado and he'll do what he does. Now I'm gonna start with the eggs. Egg. I usually only do two eggs. Jason has like six. I like to add Creole seasoning. I love Creole seasoning. I put it on literally everything. It is Cayenne like pepper is good on everything. And I like spicy. I'm gonna sneeze in a second. I feel like I don't have Corona, I swear. Then I like to put regular salt as well. And then I mix it up. Get my pan. And then I like to use, this is avocado oil, I think. <laughs> it might be canola. The oil. I'm gonna put my eggs on. While that is heating up, what I like to do is set up my avocado. I love avocado. Moment of truth. So the eggy eggies are getting cooked. For my avocado, I do the same seasonings. Then I just mash it up. Do you guys like avocado? If you don't, leave. No, I'm just kidding. Stay. <laughs> so I use this honey wheat bread from Kroger. Put it here. And then what I like to do is basically use this as a spread on my toast. Try to put my little choppy chopped eggs on top. This is the final product of my avocado toast. I think it's beautiful. Do you think it's beautiful? I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna eat it right now. We're gonna have a commercial break and I'm gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. And that is what I do for brunch. I'm personally a big snacker. We're trying really hard this year to keep only like healthy snacks in the house. This is a snack that's actually something that I need, probiotics, so I will take this pretty often, almost every day, if I remember, and it tastes so good. I love this trail mix. 
210 calories. That's a lot of calories for something this small. I love apples. These are the honey crisp apples. These are my favorite apples. I'll eat like three of these a day sometimes. I love them so much. Like 90% of the time, I would say like 90. 4% of the time. We only snack on healthy stuff, but if we have cookies in the house, we will eat them. This is a little more difficult because they have to be made, so it's like, do I want to make brownies and clean it up and all that? So we don't eat like this all the time, but I, I mean, you guys seen the Millie Meal video, so you already know that we do eat it. And I'm not gonna lie and say that everything I eat is pure and clean and perfect, so might make these tonight. Why not? Okay, so dinner. Dinner is ready. A salad from Postmates. <laughs> so there's this salad spot that's really good. It's called Sweet Green. They're great. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't cook three times a day. I usually cook one time a day. It's either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So what I have in here is kale, spring mix, hot sauce, lime cilantro dressing, portobello mushrooms, blackened chicken, raw beets, onions, sweet potatoes, spicy broccoli, cucumbers, basil, avocado. And that is for dinner. I get it's a salad, but it's like off the chain, like so good. This is really good because there's a lot of vegetables. There's my protein. So you don't always have to have meat to have protein. I actually have been low on protein, so I incorporated chicken back in my diet a little bit. There's protein in nearly everything. You just gotta look up how many grams. Okay, so when I'm not ordering Postmates, what I really like to do for dinner is I just pick like a protein, a vegetable, and a carb usually. One thing I love to make, which I should make on here, it would be fun, is stuffed peppers, but I do it with Beyond Meat. So instead of like ground beef, you just get Beyond Meat and then make it the same way. Put your onions, your spices, your sauces, and stuff the pepper up and it's just as good, I promise. Definitely let me know if you guys wanna see more of the stuff that I eat because I can do that. So just comment below if you feel you wanna see that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. One of my highest requested videos has to be what I eat in a day. It's been long overdue, and I've been wanting to share it with you for a while. But yeah, make sure that if you're not already subscribed, that you subscribe and turn my post notifications on and like this video and all the above. I appreciate you guys being here, and I can't wait to see you all next video. Dinner time. <laughs>